you choose now will have a great impact on the classes you're sitting in next year. So listen carefully and choose wisely. After June 4th, 2021, you will no longer be able to make any changes to your electives. Also, you will only be able to drop classes at certain windows, so don't forget to read the advanced course contract closely before you sign up for advanced level courses. As always, note what you need to graduate. For every full year of class you take, you will receive one credit. In order to graduate, you will need four English credits, four math credits, four social studies credits, and four science credits. You will also need to take two foreign language credits in the same language, one PE or athletic credit, one fine art credit, and six elective credits for a total of 26 credits. Your counselor will help ensure that you've met all the requirements so you can graduate on time, but don't hesitate to ask any questions. Before we get started, let's go over some basic vocabulary. Academic classes are your traditional grade level courses. AAC stands for Advanced Academic Course. This is a term we'll now be using to refer to what was formerly known as pre-AP or honors courses. These courses are more rigorous than academic classes and are designed to help prepare you for college level work. AP stands for Advanced Placement. These courses provide college level work. For these classes, the student has the option to sign up for the AP exam at the end of the year. Passing an AP test could result in a student receiving college credit depending on how their university awards college credit. Now dual enrollment. These courses provide high school credit and college credit simultaneously through a partnership with UT Austin. These courses are very rigorous and require that students have strong attendance, are very self-motivated, and desire to fulfill the work inside of the classroom and outside in order to meet deadlines. Now dual credit. This is another option for students. They provide high school and college credit, but this time it will be through a partnership with Houston Community College. Don't hesitate to ask your counselors or your teachers if you have any questions in regards to what class would be best suitable for you. You will need to choose enough classes to fill eight slots on your schedule. Now let's get started. Oh, hello. I'm Gavin Sharp, and I'm here to help you choose your English class. To graduate, you'll need English 1, 2, 3, and 4. For English 1 and 2, you can choose between academic or advanced academic class if you'd like a bit more of a challenge. For English 3, you can choose between English 3 academic. Dual enrollment English 3 is a partnership with University of Texas Austin. The course allows you to earn college and high school credit and is very writing focused. Once again, talk to your counselor if you would like more details. If you took dual enrollment English 3 as a junior, then as a senior, you may want to participate in English plus Social Studies Early College Program, ECP, with Houston Community College. The, this program will give you the opportunity to earn even more college hours. You will sign up for English 4 ECP HCC, as well as U.S. Government ECP and Texas Government ECP. Also, to meet state graduation requirements, you'll have to find some way to get that half credit for economics. If you did not take English 3 dual enrollment course as a junior, but would still like the opportunity to earn college credit, you could sign up for the English 4 dual credit English HCC class. Of course, academic English 4 and AP English 4 are always great options as well. Choose your English class wisely, and remember, all advanced and AP English classes will require some summer reading. Hi, I'm Kara. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we're both seniors at Stratford High School this year, and we're going to be helping you choose your math class. All students must begin high school math by taking Algebra 1 and Geometry. For these courses, you may choose between academic or AAC classes. After Geometry, if you feel like you really struggled in math, you may want to consider taking Math Models application and then Algebra 2 the following year. If you're confident in your math ability, sign up for Algebra 2 after Geometry. You can sign up for Academic, AAC, or Dual Enrollment for all Algebra 2 courses. Following Algebra 2, you have a few options. On the less rigorous side of things, you can sign up for College Prep Math. This course teaches you basic math skills that will help you if you struggle with math so that you can then be successful in college. On the more rigorous end, we have several options. You can sign up for AP Statistics or Pre-Calculus. Pre-calculus has academic, AAC, or dual enrollment. After pre-calculus, the highest math courses that we offer here at Stratford are 
Academic Calculus, AB Calculus, which Sarah is in, and BC Calculus, which I'm in. Um, AB Calculus is one semester of college calcul and calculus stressed, stretched over an entire year. BC cal Calculus is two semesters of college calculus. Keep in mind that these classes are very rigorous, so it may be a good idea to speak with your math teacher and or counselor to help you choose the best option for you. Before you go, we just wanted to let you know that any class you choose, Stratford will support you. And um, just throughout my high school years, the teachers are the best here. They not only understand you, but they love math. So good luck. And my personal favorite math class was BC Calculus. Um, it's a difficult class, but it's a really rewarding class when you succeed. Um, if, you want, if you're up for the challenge, definitely go ahead and give it a try. Mr. Marquez is a great calculus teacher. That's Bye. 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 Hi everyone, my name is Reese Leaf and I'm here to help you choose your social studies course. If you're a current 8th grader, you can sign up for either Academic World Geography or World Geography slash History AAC, with the latter being the advanced course. If you're a current 9th grader, you can sign up for Academic World History or AP World History. Current 10th graders have the option of signing up for Academic U.S. History or AP U.S. History. Finally, current junior students that took English 3 dual enrollment have the option to take Texas government and U.S. government dual credit with HCC. However, if you go this route, remember that you will also need a half credit of either academic economics or AP economics to meet the state graduation requirements. Otherwise, current juniors, please sign up for academic government and economics, each is one semester, or AP government and economics. Hi guys, it's Aya, and I'm here to help you choose your science course. Many students will choose biology their freshman year. You may do so by choosing between academic and AAC. If you're currently an eighth grader or freshman who really struggles in science and math, you may want to consider signing up for integrated physics and chemistry, or IPC, as your science course and sign up for biology your 10th grade year. If you're currently a ninth grader and feeling confident, choose chemistry for your 10th grade year. Most juniors who take physics will have the option to AP and academic. However, AP physics is a very rigorous course, so you must go in ready to work. If you really struggle in math and science, we have courses just for you. We have many easier upper level courses such as astronomy, environmental systems, and aquatic science. There's more. If you're interested in the medical field, choose one of our courses such as anatomy and physiology, or medical microbiology and pathophysiology for your junior and senior year. We also offer some advanced upper level courses such as AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Environmental Science. We also offer Earth and Space Geoscience as a dual credit option. If you need any help, please speak with your counselor or your science teacher as they will both be happily available to help you with your proper placement. Thank you and good luck. Hello, I'm Aya and I'm here to talk about your required PE credit. Every student must take at least two semesters or one full year of PE credit to graduate. If you're a current eighth grader, you really wanna to try to get this over with your freshman year if possible. You may do so by signing up for either regular PE, all school team sports, dance PE, or tennis PE. These will each take up one class period on your schedule. I should also note that band and color guard can also satisfy PE and fine art requirements. All sports, with the exception of tennis, will take up two spots on your schedule. If you're playing a sport, please select a sport and also either the Girls Athletic Local Class HP 111 or the Boys Athletic Local Class HP 110. This allows your sport to be double blocked. If you're an upperclassman and it's your first time going into a sport, please speak with the coach prior to spring break so that you're clear of the expectations. Otherwise, the coach may ask a counselor to remove you since they don't know you. Remember, some sports, particularly with volleyball and football, they will require summer workouts and some sports will hold tryouts during the summer as well. 
If you already have your PE credit from a past year, then you do not need to select an athletic class unless you would like to do so as an elective. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Reese Leaf and I'm here to help you choose your credits for foreign language and fine arts. The state of Texas requires that you take at least two years of the same foreign language to graduate high school. At Stratford, we offer Spanish, American Sign Language, and French. Usually you can take up to four or five credits if you'd like. Some more selective colleges really do like to see three years of the same foreign language, but most are fine with just two. I decided to take three years of Spanish, which I started in eighth grade and finished in sophomore year. If you have any questions, see your counselor or our post-secondary counselor. If you've already satisfied the foreign language requirement, you will not need to select a foreign language class unless you would like it as an elective. Now let's talk about fine arts. To graduate in Texas, you need to take at least one credit in fine arts. At Stratford, you can take choir, dance, orchestra, band, color guard, or art. Art has a variety of upper level classes such as drawing, sculpture, and digital art, but please note that Art 1 is a prerequisite for these courses. We also offer technical theater and theater. Technical theater is working behind the scenes for a production such as lighting, costumes, set building, and design, while theater focuses on on-stage performance. We also have a class called Music Appreciation, where you listen and study different kinds of music from classical and opera to contemporary pop, rock, R&B, and rap. I'm currently enrolled in tech theater, theater, and choir, so I guess you could say I'm a strong advocate for the arts. Go ahead and select your fine arts classes if you need the credit or would like to continue in a specific discipline. If you've already met this requirement, you may proceed to the next section. Hey, I'm Mark Teeley, and now that you've put in all of your required classes, you're free to choose your elective classes. Some of you will have four spots left to choose electives, and this is great. Others may only have one or two left, particularly if you're earlier in the high school process. Note that you need to have enough classes to fill eight spots on your schedule. We definitely encourage you to choose electives that align with your future goals. We offer a variety of career and technology courses, particularly in the medical, business, and STEM fields. If you need advice, don't hesitate to talk with your teacher or a counselor. If you feel like you will need additional time to study, you may also take a study hall class, but no credit is awarded for this area. Also, don't hesitate to find the Spring Branch ISD course catalog online for full course descriptions if you're unsure what a certain class is about. Once again, ask questions if you're unsure as the classes you sign up for are a big commitment and we'd hate for you to be stuck in a class you don't like. That's not fun. In conclusion, be careful of the classes you choose as there will be no elective changes after June 4th. You will receive up to three different course verification sheets where changes will be allowed. If you choose an AP, dual credit, or advanced academic course, you will need to read and sign a contract explaining the expectations for these courses. Also, please check your email occasionally as we get closer to the start of the 2021-2022 school year. Your counselor may reach out to you if for some reason a class is canceled or your schedule doesn't work. Thank you for your attention. Have a great rest of your day.